All right, we have another question uh, from Barker, who asks, Dear Hank and John, I'm in Europe uh, for a summer abroad, and I've noticed something. Tomatoes in the old world taste so much better than tomatoes in the United States. I hate tomatoes at home, won't eat them on anything, but here I could probably just eat a couple raw. I was wondering if there was a scientific explanation, like the environment they were cultivated in, or is it just because my environment has changed? Is it all in my head? So here it goes, eating a raw European tomato. Let's find out how it tastes. Mmm. Much better than the ones back home, but not as sweet as the ones you get in restaurants over here. Um. It's an interesting taste, and it's not, you know, too watery. I hate it when things are too watery. Um, so it tastes, it has the crunch of a bell pepper. That one was just all juice. <laughs> well, it's important to note that tomatoes did not exist in the old world uh, until there was a new world, because yes. tomatoes are a food from the Americas. Yes, that is that is important to note. The other, other thing that you are noticing is that uh, in the U.S. we have, uh, we mostly eat tomatoes that are very specific, uh, varieties of tomatoes that are very easy to cultivate uh, in mass quantities. And they're very durable, and they're very uh, uh, symmetrical and pretty, and they look good on grocery store shelves, and they last a long time. Uh, and there are other varieties of tomatoes that we don't see as often that taste very different and have much more taste and aren't just uh, sort of a, a watery sourness, which isn't nothing. I like a tomato, like an American tomato on my on my hamburger, but, uh, but heirloom tomatoes, as they call them, these older uh, varieties of tomatoes or, or varieties of tomatoes that are... Um, I, I, when we say older, they're not necessarily, they're not like actually an older species. They're just what people used to grow before more industrialized forms of agriculture. They're harder to grow, but they have much more flavor and are, they just, you, I am totally with you. And I had this exact same experience, not when I went to Europe, but when I moved to Montana, where they grow these tomatoes and you can get them at the farmer's market and they are delicious it's ridiculous i had no idea yeah i don't think parker's eating the uh, tomatoes in my garden because the tomatoes in my garden are 10 out of 10 i mean yeah. like a different a fundamentally different food than the tomatoes that i buy uh on the grocery store shelf so uh i definitely think come back to the united states and enjoy our many varieties of heirloom tomatoes parker and you will be glad uh to be an american again yeah I mean, you won't have health care. Uh, <laughs> there are a few other problems that we haven't solved, but we've got this tomato thing down. Definitely better than American tomatoes, but not as sweet as I expected. Um, as you heard at the last thing, I think that was an open invitation for me to go to John's house and take some of those heirloom tomatoes. But, you know, I'll, I'll see if they allow that. Yeah, I don't think they'll allow that. But, you know, maybe they'll ship it to me in Kansas City. Anyways, that was me eating an entire European tomato raw, and it was delicious, yet not as delicious as I expected. A little too watery still. Anyways, I will see you on Monday, DFTBA, and stay super. Bye.